I have here a um, uh, mini tower synthesizer, this is a Moog synthesizer, that is not uh, uh, built to, to be uh, Euro rack uh, style or, or size, but there is a guy that uh, sells the, the kit to adapt the mini tower. So I have this one, and uh, I have the, this other one that is a, it's, um, it's a Pittsburgh molar, uh, like a voice, like an entire voice, with uh, waveforms and uh, envelopes and filters and everything. Uh, okay, I will show you this later. Okay, I have a filter here. Uh, it's a Befaco filter, it's made in, in Barcelona. This one that is a, uh, it's a um, element, it's, uh, it's like a, um, uh, yeah, it, it imitates uh, membranes and mallets and things like that. Uh, in fact, I will, I, I, I will, I will sell that one because I want to have everything, more, more everything uh, analog. I have it here two uh, motors, three, two, one filter here, another filter, another motor and uh, another like voice and a filter so this is my system now i will add uh, a couple of things more in the spaces i have so but the the main uh, thing here in this system you have these that that are uh, control voltage uh, synthesizers so for example that that input in this case is the uh, one uh, volt per octave uh, <laughs> end input so yes. every one volt you have uh, one octave, one octave. So here you have the gate uh, input, and okay, pulse <coughs> modulation. But the thing is that if you want to work with this uh, stuff, you can do it, of course, with 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 the modulars here. So you can use I don't know envelopes or LFOs or something like that. But you can work with audio cards too. So but the audio cards has to be uh, DC coupled. That means that. The audio car has to work not in an AC couple. I mean, because in AC you need to have a signal that is symmetrical in zero, no? So in zero crossing, uh, and and most of the cars are, are like that. But there are some some ones that, that is not like that. So you can send one uh, signal and I don't point uh, three voltage, and it will out that that voltage. So um, Motus are uh, all the motus work like that and there is another ones for example that one presonus and i think the rmes can work like that sorry i think the rmes which is what we've rmes here, yeah but not uh, um, i think you might have to set them up no i think that uh, i think that rmes only the the seven eight output or so that is the the okay. headphone ah, and output okay. I, only that output i think that is this is couple Easy not the rest one, one. So, but, but in fact, if you want, you can adapt the car. You can solder in a little bit inside and you can put some capacitors and you can convert it. So, bah, okay. But uh, my solution for this is uh, I use these cards. That is the Expert Sleepers card. And Expert Sleepers is this card that, that is Eurorack uh, card. And it's, but this is the proper audio card. I mean, you have... Uh, USB connection here, and in this case we have four inputs and eight outputs. No, my system is this one, so I added uh, another module to have six more inputs, another one to have eight more outputs, another one to have eight more CV outputs, um, eight more gate outputs, and eight media outputs. So I have that system here. So with my system, I have. 16 uh, audio and CV outputs plus eight more gates plus 10 inputs. So <laughs> it's quite a uh, big uh, system and it's very small. It's like, it's this only this part like this. No, if you want to see here, it's very, it's very mo small. Uh, I have to connect uh, the cards using uh, the um, uh, optic fiber cable and the uh, one thing that I use, uh, but most mostly for for my my live uh, Ableton live project, is I I, I bought uh, the the plugins from uh, Expert Leapers because I could do all, everything with Max, but it's easier to do it with the plugin. And the Expert Leapers plugins, I don't know if you if you know it, 
but are quite good. I will I will show you later, because uh, you can map uh, uh, the 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 CV for the pitch and in very very easy way. So you don't have to do too much. So yeah, for example here I have input four. So for example here I ha I send the the uh, this. Okay. Okay, so for example, if I connect, if I connect the output 15 of this uh, audio card here to the uh, one volt input. So I can, I can control from max uh, the, the pitch of the synthesizer using control voltage. And uh, here, for, for to use the, the gate uh, card, you need to use a special object, this one, that encodes the, the, the signal to use it with that. If I want to use that, I can put it like this. Yeah? Okay. Is the in and out just, um, you're taking the output of the synth and then just passing it through the computer before it goes to the... No, n no, I, I'm sending the, the, out the output from the computer to the, to the, to the card. Okay, so the, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the op the, yes, and the return is, is entering again in the computer. So you can put anything else. But it's not entering the computer. It's in, yes, it's managing. I mean, the computer controls everything. Yeah, I, I can have everything. I, I will show that. Yeah, so. So here I have some examples, uh, very easy things probably, but it's interesting to check it. For example here, okay, I, I, will, I will not use the gate to have a direct uh, output, okay. And here for example, I'm using a random uh, generator, but with down some object, I know if you know this object, but uh, with this object, I can bounce up the, the signal. So I can have the sound like this. Okay. The same thing using cycle. Okay. Oh, here I am using this process that is, I have here two random numbers and uh, I'm choosing the, the the bigger one, so I have this random, but it has this um, uh, the possibility the possibilities of, of having more high pitches or is more more probably. So oh no, I have it in low pitches here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High pitches is the opposite. It's this one. Okay, so I'm using this, but but not using uh, Max. I mean, yes, using Max, but but using Max for live because it's easier for me to to create everything there. Okay, so with this plugin, if you if you send the output of the of the this, you send just you send it to the. Um, to the synthesizer, to the, the one volt uh, uh, control voltage. So for example here, if I send this to the, uh, let's say 15, and I input here from, uh, uh, no, input four, okay. 
So if I do that, if I send here calibrate, so here you have the, the mapping of the calibration. So it's automatic. So now you don't need to do anything else. You, you, if you send here, uh, you, can, you can save this. Okay, uh, save. No, no, calibration, okay. So if if I if here I put uh, another track and I put one of this stuff uh, low this okay it has to work let's say let's see if I write some notes okay in here So I have did that. It is very easy using this uh, extra slipper thing. Yeah. So okay, that's that's nice. But uh, what I'm doing with this, I, I'm doing two different things with this. One is that um, I'm creating a system, and and this I, I want to show you more in detail. I creating a system to. This is part of my PhD I'm doing now, and I, I want to create a, um, a system to 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 for algorithmic composition, but in the sense that you know that when you have algorithmic composition, you have that these two approaches. No, I mean you, you can start from bottom to up, no, from la, da, the, down to up, in the sense that you can have uh, algorithmic things and you can create. Uh, stuff, or you can start. Uh, you can think from uh, up to down. And second, it's more like a assisted composition. No, so I want to have that form or that no that music, and how can I solve that? No, so this you have these two approaches, and I found that almost all the softwares that the, the, that you can find, they use one or the other approach, not both. Except some some software, for example, Open Music, you can do both things, no? Because in Open Music you have, you know, Open Music, something, okay. But Open Music is from Ircam and it's a free software, and uh, and you have you have both things, but in Open Music you have something called maquettes, and with maquettes you can create form with the things that you create algorithmically, no? And there is another software called uh, Opus Modus, I don't know if you know this, this software. Opus Modus is, is mostly uh, Lisp, but even Open Music is Lisp too, but Open Music is more like objects, and here is a little bit more like uh, coding. And, uh, but this software, this uh, uh, Opus Modus, is a software that, that creates uh, automatically it creates uh, uh, like uh, uh, something that you can listen and you can uh, you, I mean you have a score automatically and the score is quite good it's not like open music in that sense because open music is you have a score but it's not I mean it's not a proper score you have to edit the, 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 edit the score a, uh, uh, a lot here no here the, the score is almost ready, ready to use so um, but in this software, it's very easy, it's very difficult to create form too, uh, at least for me, I don't know. So I I'm trying to create a system for Max for Live that I can use to do that, but using my module, my, my modular system. So let me show you. For example, I'm starting with this, so probably it's full of bugs and. And uh, sorry if it's not working properly. I mean, and I, 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 I need to add a lot of functions. I'm 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 just started, but but I can show you some things here. For example, here I have okay. I have this uh, this approach. I say okay, this will be the the, the 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 dynamic part, and I didn't I I I I don't started to work on this. So for example, I will put here a fixed uh, rhythm, all sixteen notes, and. Here I have a map. So this map is a logistic map. map. So logistics, I don't know if you know that this, but the logistic chaos is 
one kind of cows you, you can create, you can generate. And, um, and, but this kind of chaotic system, you can put, uh, I mean, if you change some parameter, you change the mapping of this chaotic system. So, for example, in this case, I can put something like this, and this is a little bit chaotic, or I can put uh, something like this, no? So, if I put something like this, uh, less chaotic, let's say like something like this, and I will generate, uh, I don't know, 50 nodes from this octave to this octave, and I will put a, a chromatic uh, a scale to, I mean, it's easier to check now, okay? So, I have it here now. And this, it has to sound Huh? Yes. So, in this case, I need to use it with the gate because if not, this is, will sound all the time. So, okay, I will put the gate. Okay, that is not very interesting, but now I can do something better than this and I can use, an, for example, Euclidean rhythms. <laughs> so, and I can say, okay, this is clear rhythms will be, I will use uh, uh, one fifth, I don't know how you call it in English, this quintillo, quintillo, I mean, when, when you, when you split a note in five, uh, quintuple. quintuple, yeah, quintuple, so I will use a quintuple here, and I will use this division, okay, okay, so I have this rhythm now, here. Okay, and uh, but now I will change the mapping, and I will use a specific, for example, pitch class. So I will use uh, for example, oh, oh, a specific scale. I don't know. It's easier to put. Okay, like this. But uh, uh, I will use the inversion of this. I don't know. Okay, so I can generate this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and and my idea is to have. I mean, this part is this. Uh, 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 pitch class part, I mean, it's finished because I, with, with pitch classes I can have any combination of, of notes in the scale. Uh, I, I'm always talking about temp, temp, temperated, you say in English? Uh, temp, temperate uh, scales. I mean, it's, it will be nice to add a system to have quartal note uh, stuff or something like that. Probably I will, I will do it. And I will have a lot of more uh, uh, mappings for example, here I have this one, CUSP uh, is another kind of map, uh, quadratic, okay, it's other things. And in fact, there is there is a, um, a web page I will use too as a, as a database where you have oase.org that is a database of sequences, of, uh, of uh, integral sequences. So, so, and you can write the sequence here and if the sequence is similar to some sequence, some logic sequence, uh, the system will tell you which formula you need to create that sequence. So for example, if here I put one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, something like that, search, and if there is something that, that generates that, it, this system will tell me. Yes, I have it here. <laughs> so, and, it tells me how to generate this. Uh, even even it, it showed me this in, in Mathematica software. I don't know if, if you know Mathematica, but I, I use it a lot, this, this software. So Mathematica is a very good software to to calculate these things and to, to show you the, the plotting of, of this, this stuff. For example, here I have chaotic systems. I have all the plottings here. I, I plotted everything. So I can check 
a system. I can do the plotting and check if it's, if, if if I liked if I like if I like that system. Or you can here you can put something like uh, like this, and you can navigate sequences. And when you when you have some sequence that for you is okay, you can check how it's uh, built. So, for example, this one. One, two, one, three, two, one, one, two, seven, blah, blah, blah. So if I copy this, and I put this in Mathematica, it has to, yes, it has to generate this. I have the sequence here. So in that, in that case, if the sequence doesn't have any parameter, that the parameter changes the sequence, uh, I'm, I'm, I will do uh, like a database of sequence. So in this case, I put some sequences. So I have, for example, this one. And okay, like this. And I can do a, a inversion or something like that of the sequence. No? For example, or I don't know, other sequence, this one. So if I use this, this sequence, <coughs> Okay, I changed this. Okay, but here, here this 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 part, it's it's like it's the part that that belongs to the algorithm composition. It's not the as assisted uh, composition because I'm not creating any any structures here. I only have okay data. So my idea is to create a system. Because here, uh, after I, I, I created this, I can say, okay, write, and this will write me in the track, this MIDI data. So I, now I have it here. And you, you, can, say, you can see the way, the, way no, the shape of the sequence, in fact. If you see this, and uh, if you see this, it's something similar, no? So uh, it depends on the amount of, of notes I put and everything. So, I have it here. My idea is to have a system that after I create a lot of different things, the system can um, analyze all the data and can, can create like a transition between structures, between, no? So, uh, because my idea is to create like a tagging, no, of, of, of all the creation, all the, the generations, all the generators, and the system can create like, a, you know, a, yes, a relationship between them, probably using machine learning or something like that. I don't know, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking, uh, I, I'm researching which, which system is the best one. Or probably I can do system, things like, okay, I have this, uh, this thing I generated, uh, and I will to go. I, I want to go from here to, to this other our uh, other thing. So can you can create a transition? No. So that's my project. No. And uh, in the in this project, uh, of course, it will be for free to everything to everybody that, to any anybody that wants to use it. And yeah, okay. And this this stuff, I. I I am doing here this stuff. Uh, I'm using a lot uh, an, an, uh, a library called Bach. I don't know if you know that library. Everybody knows that? Okay. In this case, uh, I'm using here the um, the this is the the main core the core of the system to write everything in uh, in the uh, in the track no in live track. And um, there are some things that that are. Uh, because, for example, when you write this, I found that if you send from Bach to live, if you send it like a, as a package, as a list, it's very difficult to do it. But if you send it like like one note uh, in, uh, behind the other one, it's very easy and it works very well. Very well because in in live you have to say how many notes are you going to create. So and because you never know that, so you can you can do a process that calculates the note or counts the note, but it's easier if you don't say that and you only write one note per time and, per time and it, 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 
does it very well. So I have this here and I have here uh, all the generators. So for example, this is the part for the for the um, pitch class part, but here I'm using something that is new in Max Eight. Uh, that is that that now you have a gen object that is not gen for audio but for data, and that's great because if you want to i mean if you want to do the same thing with the other gen you have to convert it in data and capture some part of the no the numbers i mean it's a little bit pain in the ass but this one no you can generate i don't know 10 numbers and that's all so in this gen i can i can apply i can i can um, i can create very easily this kind of uh, of uh, algorithmic things that are recursive recursive uh, formulas so um, because of that I could I could I can do this very very easily so that's amazing because if you for example if you find that this uh, this formula generates things that you like and you see that this is have some recursion here it's not a problem you can come here and you can create it here and very easily so here I have the, the, the I mean, three or four algorithms I, I created. This is log, logistic uh, chaos, uh, congruential chaos, CUSP, uh, quadratic. Uh, this, these are the sequen sequences, and uh, I don't know. I, I will continue. Okay, and the same thing is here in the in the rhythm part. But in the, in the rhythm part, I want to try to I, I I want to try to create a system because the system that I showed you, it only generates the same uh, the same figure the same duration. I mean only quarter note or sixteen or something like that. And I I want to create another system, and I did it in fact. Uh, and and is this this kind of um, L system that creates like a, I know you know this but it's like a, this L system it creates like something like a, a, a branch of the tree so you can create you, if you put for example one up one eight one eight one four uh, minus one eight this will create the same thing for this again this for this for this it will create it but but uh, with the double of the duration, here we create it, but with, with silences. So you can create algorithmically more interesting rhythms. No? Okay. And the other thing is that I, I need to, to, to add here something to have um, like a cross reference between different batches because <laughs> what happened is okay I have this and now I want to create something in the tower synthesizer but I want to create something that is related with this the other one so my idea is to have here I can open this and here I have like like a preset of the thing they created in 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 every track so if I have this the same thing in this track and I check this one this will show me how I created this, so I can use the same parameters to create the other one. I don't know if I'm clear. So okay, I use that uh, that mapping with that uh, pitch class. Okay, I can use the same thing, but with the little variations to create something that in the this other synthesizer is related. Are you using Bocker algorithmic processes to generate CV as well? Yeah. How are you doing that? Yeah. In, in, okay, I will show you two 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 ways to do that. One is very easy. I mean, I only have to use uh, expert slipper and that's all, because I send the the, the audio the data. Uh, I mean, I send the MIDI data to this thing, and this thing it will convert it to CV automatically. So I don't need to 
Well, I just meant rather than like discrete notes and rhythms, are you sending like gestural, are you using algorithm process to generate like gestural data as well as, as like discrete notes? Not now, not yet. I mean, yes, yeah. but let me check, let me show you how, okay. how you use that. Yeah, that's the other part. I'm creating uh, like a library of virtual error racks to do exactly that. So for example, we have some sound, okay. Here, here, okay. Okay, we have a filter. No? Okay. So, I will send this to the output. Yeah, it's three, okay. Okay. Okay, so. Here in max for live max audio effect. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm using this, I don't know if you know this, ah, yes, for sure you know it. It's this thing called beep. And beep is like pre, no, pre-built uh, modules. So I'm doing my own beep. And they call semas beep now. So here I have, for example, I will start with the very easy one, LFO. So I have this LFO and I can send it here. Okay, only there. And now I will have an LFO there. Okay, new LFO. Okay, so now I have. Yeah, okay, very easy. I have my LFO. So my idea is to create several m modules in that sense, and I created some more sophisticated ones. And for example, I have this this one that is for example cusp, and this cusp is the same thing, the same cusp that I used to create discrete thing, but now here is like continuous uh, continue um, data, and this is signal. So I don't, I'm not using the expert leaper here. So if I connect, but the thing that this is too too fast. If I connect it here, it's too fast. So I will we will not, not have anything. So I create another, like a down, down sump uh, module. Mm, it's like a down sump. Okay. Yeah. So, and, I, if, and, and if I want to, let me put something interesting here. Yeah. So, but here's like, a, like, um, you know, like square steps, no? So here I can say, okay, I will use this one. Okay, I don't know, something like that. Okay, and now Okay, and now I can put some like uh, smooth ends, you know, yeah. so uh, But here I can I can I can use this that is a quantizer so I can quantize this for I don't know to have 16 notes So now it's synchronized with this No so yeah, the, 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 the idea is that, my idea is that I can, I can create the same process that I, because with that process I can control other things like filters of, I don't know, something like that. So my idea is, yes, to, to apply that too. Let's see if I can do it. But, but for example, because I think that, for example, here I'm creating now, but it's not finished. But I created here, for example, this one, maths. You know the module maths. And I created a module, a, a virtual maths. So because I think that if a module generates uh, a function, it's possible to create it mathematically. So if it's possible to create it mathematically, why I should spend my money buying something that does that? It's not the same thing with the VCOs or something like that, because, or the filters because I like the sound of the analog stuff. And it's different, I mean, 
I, I'm not saying that 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 because I, I I'm too old to to be in this thing that no analog things is better than no it's not it's not better it's but for me the, the, is that if you have a piano a real piano acoustic piano and you have a virtual piano this kind of uh, physical model piano or sample or something like that, could sound very very well but it's not a piano no, it's not the same thing and for me the same thing is, is, happens with the analog stuff so you can there is some virtual instrument from the, I don't know if you check it the new uh, Roland uh, Roland Cloud it calls Roland Cloud uh, uh, virtual instruments it sounds very very good but it doesn't sound like the real stuff. I mean, I compare it with real stuff, and I mean, the sound of the real thing is much better. So, my, I think that that if I can create a lot of functions here and use the, my analog stuff to, to, to play, no? That's the idea. So, uh, let me show you something else. So, in this same uh, idea, I want, I, I like very much to, to play live and I play with this, this thing. So let me say something else. I, I, my idea is that, that if I have a lot of things that, that are fixed, so like pitch, uh, pitch and rhythm and things like that, I try to, to play live with my stuff, controlling the timbers and uh, envelopes and so, so for me it's like having uh, instrumentist that I can manipulate uh, the timber, the, the sound no, of, of, of each, each instrument live, no. And uh, but I wanted to do something similar with the video. Uh, so because I like very much to have video in my presentation, but I'm I'm not video artist, and I don't want to be a video artist in the sense that I don't have time to learn. And usually the things that are I mean, if, if something is not very well, it's not very good in the, the, the video thing. So I, I started to, 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 to think about doing things with this. And uh, I found these guys that they are doing uh, something called uh, scope, scope music. And this guy, uh, this guy, Jerobin Fenderson, it's, it has a lot of um, of um, YouTube uh, it, tutorials no, about this, and this is int I mean, the music for me is not that interesting. But the thing is that you have this, and this is uh, this is an actual oscilloscope. So if you record this sound and you send it to a oscilloscope, you are going to have the same the same image. So. For example, okay. And probably, probably, probably as everybody else, I, I, I. I thought that that no, this is a trick. This I mean, if I plot this, it will not show this. And this yes, it works. It shows exactly that. So there is a lot of things that you you can do it uh, with only with mathematical uh, functions. And for example, this stuff that we we'll see here, you can do it like that with mathematics functions. Functions. It's not that difficult. Not this. I mean that one for example. This kind of no thing. But you cannot do with mathematical functions, I don't know, this, so for example, here. That the, doesn't really the dead, dead star, no? But that doesn't really sound. Okay. So, one thing that I, 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 I try to do with this is that. Um, if you use, uh, because this guy uses, uses a, a, a real oscilloscope. So, and of course, I don't want to travel with an oscilloscope. But if, if you use the oscilloscope, the max oscilloscope is not good for to do this. So, 
I found this program pretty scope that is intended to, to, to use it like this. In this, pro this program has a bug that this, if you use it in Retina compu computers, you only have one quarter of the, of the screen. But if I use it, uh, okay, it's not a, a big problem because I never use it like that. I use it in separate screen. So when I use it in separate screen, like this, if I put it here, now it's in the center. Now it's okay. So I will I will send uh, the 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 Max through uh, Soundflower to this software. Okay. So now I have a circle, and uh, if I change things here, huh? For example, the frequency. And uh, other thing that is interesting here that is that you can modify some some things of the the image. So, for example, you, I can put here uh, dots, and that it will you know the, the the image is different, or the dot size. I don't know. And like we can control, you can control that from MIDI. So you can control my, modify this, the, this, the the image real time. So here I have another, for example, way uh, shape. This is like a spring, and you can modify. Huh? Oh, the spiral. Okay. Okay, so you can do all this stuff uh, using um, uh, algorithms. But to do to do the guy the guy with the bike is not that easy with this. So here I'm using um, Gen. So here I'm using I'm using this Gen. And here I have this code, and I have a code for every shape. No, so J. Uh, so program five is spy is spiral. Program, program six is uh, spiral different, and blah blah blah. Okay. So okay, but how can we do the guy with the bike? So there is another software. There is always another software. Some guy did that. It calls Aussie Studio. This one and this Aussie Studio, Aussie Studio, is the opposite thing. Here you have the software creates the sound of the image you 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 you, you put here. Not not that you create the image because the sound. So you can put here uh, object uh, files, no files dot object, uh, or object no object. So for example, I have some examples here. For example, uh, this. Let me uh, yes, this one for example, and this one we cannot listen that because yeah, it's this. So, so I put it uh, one of these balls, no, like an object, and you can modify this with all this stuff here. For example, for example, I can modify this like this, or like this. I don't know. Or for example, I have another one that is this one, and this is like a head. You can see it better here. So, and you can modify uh, a lot of things from here, and even, okay, let me stop this. And even you can, you can put here live coding things. 
So you can, here if you put live coding, you can create a score here, I mean, uh, sorry, as, um, how do you say? Script, uh, and you can create um, uh, images using script, I mean, uh, the formulas, but you can modify the object files using that formulas. formula. So yeah, it's very interesting. For example, here I have the, let me show you. Um, so I'm using this object, this, and I put this, this file inside that uh, software and it generates the sound that will plot that shape. No? Yeah, one of the things that I think is confusing about it is that you're sending the signal very frequently to make the frequency. So the frequency is sort of almost like the refresh rate of the audio. Yeah. And then what you're hearing is the timbre change as it moves. That's one of the reasons that you get these very complex patterns is that actually you're sending the same pattern lots of times repetitively and that keeps a static thing on the screen. And then the movement's actually what creates these modulations. Exactly. And yeah. so there's a kind of, there's a disjunction between what you think, how you think the mapping is working and how it's actually working. Because you're, yeah, because you're sending. But also the movement, because it's rotating. Yes, because you know X is left channel, Y is right channel. Right. So because it's slowly rotating, that creates a kind of a, uh, yeah, a connection between the two channels. Yeah. And, and also another important thing is that there's always multiple ways to draw an image. Yeah, this, the sound is interesting too. For example, I can change the rotation. Some things uh, it work. Uh, something works better with other kind of images, but uh, but yeah, sometimes when if you start with a very easy, easy thing, for example, this one I have. Doctor Sopa is my artistic name. And Simas, the place I work, where I work. So, for example, Trace. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And the thing is that, one thing that for me is very interesting is that because this is sound, I um, I save the video but as, as a sound, as a track, as a sound, as a track of sound, and uh, so I start to use plugins with that sound, and I modify the video because the effects I put to that video. So do you have a lot of interesting things that you can do there? So for example, if you put something like uh, a down sound, for example. Uh, to the video, or use a uh, distortion, or you use a phaser, or, or something like that, uh, in, in Logic, uh, you can change the video in a very interesting way, and uh, you can manipulate it uh, real time, no? The thing is that if you use that, along with that you use, for example, this, and you send to plot this uh, stuff, so you can plot to the synthesizers, there and you can send, for example, one VCO to one X axis and the other one to the other one. Uh, you will have interesting things too, um, and things that will be more interesting in real time. 
The only thing is that because this software it works in, in the graphic card, it's it's quite demand, demanding to the computer. So and I don't know if it's a problem with live. I think that I read something about that live uh, live ten. It has some problems with the graphic. I mean, when you have things in the graphic card, you have some. I mean, it's not very good for live. So when I use this uh, in the same computer, live goes to the eighty percent. So I cannot use it. So I'm using that in a separate computer, and because I'm using it in the separate computer, I cannot send all the audio stuff. I mean, it's very difficult to do that. I mean, it's it's a lot of job to do that, and it's not that accurate. So in this moment, I'm using this as fixed audios that I have in the other computer. And when I play live, I play my live here and the other live starts in sync and plays the video. And yes, I think that I found that this aesthetic or this way to do video, it has a lot of relation with the music I'm trying to do and a lot, a lot, a lot of relation with uh, these uh, algorithmical things and that. So, so because of that, uh, I'm using all, I mean, for all the pieces I do in live, I use this system with different, no things, different uh, shapes and different things, but I'm using that. Okay, so of course, yes, you are right, I have the part, the, 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 the graphic part, I mean, the part that shows the score and everything, but for example, uh, here, for example, to have a, a proper um, uh, data to send to live, for example, here I'm using these objects, these bug objects, to create uh, the data I need you know, to send it there. Um, for example, here in the, the generators, but for example here, yeah, using bug here, 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 in every part. So, for example, here, I'm using back a lot because here I'm creating uh, pitch classes that, I don't know, that you can combine. Uh, and, and, for example, and here you, you, can, uh, you can have groups, but with the cardinality of the, of the pitch class, I don't know how, how you call it, the, the number of the amount of notes that the pitch class has. Mm -hmm. And for example, here I made a system to, to for example, if, if, if I choose here a pitch class, for example, I know, uh, I will put something like this. So this is the pitch class 735, but here you have all the subsets of that pitch class. So you can create another part with subsets. No? So I made that with, with Bach, for example. No? So yeah, I'm, I'm, if, if you check the patch, you will find Bach all around the patch. So you're using it kind of for the stuff that's looking at scales and sets and that kind of. Thing. Yeah, because Bach is is it's it's like uh, it's like um, uh, li li Linux. Yeah, sorry, Linux. Uh, like um, Lisp uh, in Max. Yeah. So to to work with this, with Lisp is perfect. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, every time I need to have list and group of list and you know, modified that, that I use back. So I don't know, probably, I don't remember, but if you check from inside this gen, uh, probably we'll have a lot of back too, I don't know, but uh, yeah, for example, this, this back quant quantiles is the object that maps the, the way, the form, the, the, this shape into the nodes that I'm creating with, uh, with, um, Beach classes, for example, I use this back here. So yeah, I'm using back all around the patch. Yeah. There is a lot of back there.